John Gaidab has got and what he has got to do with Nathan Gaidab and who is helping Nathan Gaidab to sort out his matter and that is world famous detective that is Sherlock Holmes along with his assistant Watson right so let's have a look at the paper cutting newspaper cutting of the advertisement right and in that advertisement we are going to learn about someone and that is Howard Gaidab you know Howard Gaidab is none other than the third Gaidab so called third Gaidab as John Gaidab has explained so just go to the contents as we have already discussed constructor he is a constructor and these are his machinery and appliances he is dealing in ok students and uh, in this way apply Gravos, Grausna buildings Ashton Ashton is the name of the place glorious gas our host that makes what makes our third man I had opened up inquiries in Birmingham said the American American who is the American do you remember that is John Gaidab right he is American and my agent there has sent me this advertisement from a local newspaper and we must we must hustle means we must be hasty we must make it fast and put the thing through I have written to this man and told him that you will see him in his office tomorrow afternoon at 4 o'clock so Mr. Nathan Gaidab, Gaidab I have made all arrangements who is saying this John Gaidab is saying I have made all arrangements and Mr. Nathan Gaidab you have to leave for that place and I have made all arrangements and you don't have to do anything you just have to confirm the existence of Howard Gaidab right students oh now Nathan Gaidab speaks uh, you want me to see him oh what do you say Mr. Holmes now Nathan Gaidab is uh, asking Holmes whether he should go over there or not what do you what he opined what he had opinion about this matter don't you think it would be wiser here am I a wandering American so now Mr. Holmes you just say uh, isn't it proper for Mr. Nathan Gaidab to go over there to pay a personal visit over there hmm? from America I have been here a wandering American with a wonderful tale why should he believe what I tell him hmm? what but you are a Britisher means he is Britisher with solid references and he is bound to take notice of what you say I would go with you if you wished he is saying don't worry Mr. Nathan Gaidab I may accompany you if you wish so but I have a very busy day tomorrow but unfortunately I cannot accompany you tomorrow because it's a very busy day for me and I could always follow you if you are in any trouble but in case you require my presence anywhere any point I, I may be over there right Mr. Nathan Gary Depp who is saying students please be sure about that who makes the statement on whom the statement is being made this is very important for you otherwise you won't get the story properly right well I have not made such a journey for years it is nothing Mr. Gary Depp it is nothing I have figured out so he is just saying I have not made such a journey for your means I have not made any kind of journey Nathan Gaidab is saying I have not made any kind of journey I have not even stepped out of my this chamber for so many years I just remain inside so I am doubtful about that so now John Gaidab is saying it is nothing don't worry about that Mr. Gaidab Mr. Nathan Gaidab I have figured out your connection means I have gone through all your connections and you leave at 12 means tomorrow at 12 o'clock you will leave and should be there soon after 2 o'clock means it will it will take you 2 hours to get to the place then you can be back the same night all you have to do is to see this man explain the matter and get an affidavit of his existence you just have to bring in proof of existence whether he really exists in this world or not right by the lord he added hardly considering I have come all the way from the center of America it is surely little enough if you go a hundred miles I have crossed thousands of miles and can't you cross even hundreds of miles right so in order to put this matter through me to sort out this matter 
So, Mr. Nathan Gaida, please, please go through, right? Quite so, said Holmes. Now, Mr. Holmes speaks in between, he puts in and he says, yeah, this is quite true. I think what this gentleman says is very true. Means, Mr. Holmes also says that John Gaida is true and Mr. Nathan Gaida is surely supposed to pay the visit to that Howard Gaidab, the third Gaidab, right? Mr. Nathan Gaidab shrugged his shoulder in this way, shrugged his shoulders, right? With a disconsolate air. Well, if you insist, I shall. Disconsolate means he didn't want, means he was reluctant. He was not willing to go over there. But when Mr. Holmes also confirms, so he says, as you wish, I shall go. certainly hard for me to refuse you anything considering the glory of hope that you have brought into my life and I have no other option. He says, then that is agreed, said Holmes and no doubt you will let me. Now John Ye, Sherlock Holmes ask Mr. Nathan Gaiden, what? I hope you will leave, let me have a report as soon as you can. I will see to that, said the American means John Gaidab says that I will arrange the report, don't worry about that and by tomorrow night you will be surely getting that report, he added. Looking at his watch and he said I will have to get on, now I will have to move, I will call you tomorrow Mr. Nathan and see you off and see you off to Birmingham if you wish. So, I will just see you off over there and coming my way Mr. Holmes means John Gaidab is saying I am just going on that way and Mr. Holmes and Watson, if you also wish to accompany me, I can drop you over there because I am also going the same way. Well then goodbye and we may have good news for you tomorrow night, right? Mr. Holmes, you will surely have good news. I noticed that my friend's face, my friend's face means Watson is saying that Sherlock Holmes face cleared when the American left the room and the look of thoughtful perplexity, perplexity means confusion had vanished. Now there was no kind of confusion on the face of Sherlock Holmes as Watson observed. I wish I could look over your collection Mr. Gary Depp who is saying Sherlock Holmes is asking Mr. Nathan Gaider, uh, can I have a closer look at the articles and at the collection you have just made in this room? Can I? In my profession all sorts of odd knowledge comes useful and this room of yours is a storehouse of it. I think all these odd things, oddities may be helpful for me. So, I just want to have a look at each of them very observantly. May I? Oh, I, our client means Mr. Nathan Gaider shone with pleasure. He said he gave his permission and his eyes gleamed with gleam from behind his big glasses. He just confirmed, right? I had always heard so that you were very intelligent man said he I could take you around now I know you are very intelligent sir maybe all these things in the form of a collection may be useful to you so surely sir I will just take you around but and for if you have time sir I can take you I can take you around in this room around the collection if you wish right now Oh, unfortunately, Sherlock Holmes is saying, unfortunately, Mr. Nathan Gaidab, I don't have much time right now. But these specimens are so well labeled and classified that they hardly need your personal explanation. I, if I should be able to look in tomorrow, sir, do you have any objection? If I pay my visit to have a closer look at them tomorrow, because right now I don't have ample time I must leave right now and you have already labeled all these things so I don't think that your personal presence is required to explain each and everything I can go through them right I presume I think that mm, there would be no objection to my glancing over them in your absence do you mind oh no no not at all sir you are most welcome the place will of course be shut up but Mrs. Saunders is in the basement up to 4 o'clock and would let you in with her key. Right now she has already left but tomorrow when you come here she remains here till 4 o'clock so she will be very much helping you she would be giving you the key and in this way you can come in right. Well I happen to be clear tomorrow afternoon if you would say a word to Mrs. Saunders means I'll tell her and she would be surely helping you. It would be quite in order. By the way, who is your house agent? Now Mr. Sherlock Holmes is asking who is your house agent? 
Then Nathan Gaider at this question got a bit confused. Our client was amazed at this certain question. Hmm, Holloway and Steve in the age way, age where role, who is asking? Sherlock Holmes is giving option. But why? Um, a bit of an archaeology. He is saying Holloway and Steele in the Edgeway Road, they are my landlord. So, why asking this question? Then Sherlock Holmes is saying, I am a bit of an archaeologist myself. When it comes to houses, said Holmes, laughing, I was wondering if this was Queen Anne or Georgian. Who is either of them? Then uh, Nathan Gaidab saying, Georgian, beyond doubt. Any doubt? No doubt is there. Uh, really, I should have thought a little earlier. However, it is easily ascertained. It, it is easily fixed. Well, goodbye, Mr. Gary Depp, and may you have every success in your Birmingham journey. He, Sherlock Holmes, and Watson, they extend their best wishes for the success of his visit. The house agents was means now Sherlock Holmes and Watson they pay visit to the house agent. But unfortunately, he was not over there. The, his office was closed. But we found that it was closed for the day. So we made our way back to Baker Street. It was not till after dinner that Holmes reverted to the subject. So till dinner time, we remained without discussing on the topic. So during dinner time, he started our little problem draws to a close. Who says? Sherlock Holmes to Watson says that now I think our problem is coming to an end means we are on the verge of solving this whole matter. No doubt you have outlined the solution in your own mind. I can make neither head, neither head, no tail of it, no sir. I don't know even ABC of this case. I am really confused. Oh, the head is surely clear enough and the tail means head means the whatever the part of the case we have come across so far that is already solved. And when it comes to tail means conclusion climax, the tail we should see tomorrow. The climax will be tomorrow for sure, Watson. So sit assured. Have patience till then. Did you notice nothing curious about that advertisement? Do you still remember the piece of uh, advertisement in the newspaper? That newspaper cutting was there. Did you notice anything unusual about that? Oh, I saw that too. Uh, the word plow was misspelled. Oh, you did notice that, did you? Oh, come Watson, you are improved all the time. Yeah, it was bad English, but good American. The printer had set it up as received. Means whatever the printer was given accordingly, he just typed the matter. Then the buckboards, that is American also, and artisan wells are corner with them than with us. It was a typical American advertisement, but purporting support to be supporting to be from an English firm means giving false details, means it looked like an British advertisement, but it was American advertisement. What do you make of that? What do you understand by that? I can only suppose that this American lawyer John Garrida put it in himself. He has prepared it it by himself. What his object was, I fail to understand, but sir, sorry sir, I do not know what lies as his intention behind all this sir. I am still confused. He is saying, well there are alternative explanations. Anyhow he wanted to get this good and good old fossil up to Birmingham. Uh, let him go over there. Good old fossil means Nathan Gaidam, right? That is very much clear. I might have told him that he was clearly going on a wild goose chase. It will be of no use going over there, right? I could have told him, but on second thought, but I thought it over. What may be lying behind this plan? So it seemed better to clear the state by letting him go. That's why uh, I came to a conclusion and I thought it over and over again. And I just told Nathan to go over there because I just wanted to go behind him. Tomorrow Watson, well tomorrow will speak for itself. Tomorrow will tell the climax of this case. Holmes was up and out early. When he returned at lunch time, I noticed that his face was very much serious and he was looking serious. Grave means serious. This is a more serious matter than I had expected. Watson, Holmes is saying this is more than we had more complicated than we have ever thought. It is fair to tell you so though I know it will only be an additional reason to you for running your head 
into danger. Since I am going to put you in danger, that's why I think it better to tell each and everything in advance. I should have, I should know my Watson by now. But there is danger and you should know it. I know that you are every time with me, but it is still my duty to tell you each and every danger about it. Well, it's not the first time now, Watson is saying, so this is not the first time. Uh, we are working together and we are not, mm, in future, we are not working together. It is also not going to happen, right? We are up against a very hard case. I have identified Mr. John Gaidab. I have just come to know each and everything, all pins. Pins and details about Mr. John Gaidev, counselor at law, who is known as, he is none other than Killer Evans, you know. He is just a brutal and cruel Killer Evans, not John Gaidev. And murderous reputation he has got, I fear I am none the wiser. Ah, is not part of your profession to carry about, carry about a portable Newgate calendar in your memory. Uh, Sherlock Holmes is telling Mr. Watson, it's not necessary for you. I have been down to see my friend last week at the yard. And there may be an occasional want of imaginative intuition down there, but they lead the world for thoroughness and method. I had an idea that we might get on the track of our American friend in their records. See, sure through. And uh, means I paid a visit to one of my friends last week in America and there what I went through, sure enough, I found his chubby face. So many faces were there and one of the faces was Evans. And that was really the face of John Garidev, right? So, sure enough, I found his chubby face smiling up at me from the Rogue's Portrait Gallery. James Winter means his name was written below the picture, is below his face and the name was James Winter. Fake name? Mockcroft, fake name, Killer Evans, was means these are different different names he used to take up from situation to situation. Was the inscription below, Holmes drew an envelope from his pocket. I scribbled down a few points from his dossier, his introduction, his details and aged 44. His age is native of Chicago. He belongs to Chicago, America, known to have shot three men in the States. In America, he has already killed three. People escaped from uh, penitentiary means some reliable supports, official supports he has got through political and he has come out scot free, right? Came to London in 1893, shot a man over cards in a nightclub in the Waterloo Road in January 1894. He came out in 1893 and again in 1895, he had a quarrel in a nightclub and he killed that killed a person over there also man died but he was shown to have been the aggressor in the road now he has become aggressive john get up since then has become too much aggressive his nature has been changed that man was identified as roger presbury students keep this name in your mind roger presbury the name of this dead man is who was shot dead right famous as forger but he was also a forger, he was a fake man, means he was also a rascal, means he was involved in some illegal activities, um, okay. And Coiner in Chicago, Killer Evans released and somehow he got released in 1905, uh, 1901 and has been under police supervision since, but so far as known 